What's happening guys? This is literally my third week back in the gym and I'm just stoked to actually be training again. I didn't hate it before, but I just, that enthusiasm and that passion to train just wasn't there, you know? With, you know, the kickboxing and everything else that I was doing, which I'm still doing, but I'm just enjoying lifting again. So I wanna, sh let me share it with you. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm 165, 165 pounds. And I just wanna, I don't really wanna put on a bunch of weight. I just wanna build my base level strength back. I never completely stopped working out. You know, I still train, <laughs> being dead honest here, at least once a week. Like I'd go in there and do a set of squats, I'd do some overhead press, and flat down off bench press. Look at my left elbow, by, oh, by the way. I'm having like, I hyperextended it. Somebody kicked my elbow by accident. It's been giving me pain ever since, but yeah, I digress. I've been training like once a week, sporadically. You know, just to kind of maintain everything. So I'm back to a full four days per week, upper, lower. And I'm going to give you guys a breakdown of what my split looks like today. I'm going to do an upper body workout. I believe it's B or A. I have to double check. Uh, this is how I'm looking. Three weeks in. Not looking bad. 165. My strength isn't really isn't where it was. You're going to see when I'm training. It's nowhere near where it was. But part of it, too, is coming back to training consistently, I should say. I want to build. I want to come back with better habits. You know, you, always, you obviously always want to improve. You can never be perfect. Better habits and better technique on exercises. And particularly, I want to get really good at the front squat. Front squat, um, I would say mainly that lift over anything else, but every lift. Better habits, better lifting technique, and build my strength back with that. Um, I'm not looking too bad, I don't think at all. I can see areas that are not as full, like in my, my chest isn't as full as it was. My legs are definitely, like if you guys see my legs before, my legs are definitely smaller. Some things stick around, like my arms kind of stuck around a little bit, my shoulders, they, they shrunk a little bit. My chest and my legs, to, to me, from what I know looking at my physique, those shrunk the absolute most. But I've maintained really good leanness from the amount of cardio that I've been doing, from wrestling and doing all that stuff. Well, yeah, I'm just having fun, man. I, I'm just, ooh, look at this vacuum, hitting the vacuum pose. I can't believe I can actually still do that. That was hard, though. I, you have to, like, exhale all your air out and then suck up your diaphragm. Bodybuilding 101. I'm, listen to me. I'm rambling. I'm just, like, jumping here and I'm jumping there, but, man, it's, <laughs> it's good to be back in the gym lifting again. It really is. Let's do this. Let's get to this upper body workout. I start off with the flat bench press, okay? Not gonna go heavy. The heaviest I go, that's 135, 40, 50, 175, okay? I'm going for a set of eight to 10. I'm leaving, trying to leave at least two to three clean reps left in the tank. So that's an RPE, I believe, seven to eight. RPE means, RPE means rate of perceived exertion. See, it's two, and this is three. And I'm trying to have good bar speed, okay? I'm paying attention to all the small details good bar speed. I could go heavier and I could still get eight to 10, but I wanna have good bar speed because bar speed is a part of growth. You know, the faster that bar moves, the more muscle fibers recruit to contribute towards hypertrophy. So you don't wanna be doing grinders. I want good bar speed. Here's another, here's another reason it's so good to film yourself. Look at how crooked the bar is when I'm pressing upward. Look at this. Jeez, like my right side is so overcompensating from not pressing for so long. You know, you develop these bad habits. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at the mirror. I'm using the mirror as like, because the mirror is parallel to the ground, even though my camera isn't straight, I can tell. Like, look, I'm pressing crooked. So I've got to fix that. I got to be aware of that when I'm actually pressing to fix that. This is how some people sometimes cause muscle imbalances. I'm like wondering why one pec is slightly overdeveloped or even though I don't think pressing like that would make a noticeable muscle imbalance, but it's good to pay attention to these things and be able to, to spot them out, you know? So watch, look at my technique, scapular retraction, see that? There's a space between my lower back, the space between my upper back and my and my glutes. Pulling that scapula together, bringing the bar down to the sternum. You guys, you guys know like I've always taught you, do not bring that bar above the nipple line so you don't internally rotate your shoulders and damage them. Those feet are planted into the ground. I point them outwards. And push them into the ground for leg drive. Your entire body, man. The, the bench press, it really is a full body movement if, you, if you're if you doing it correctly. 
and you're and you're paying attention to all the mechanics of how it's supposed to be executed. What is the next exercise? Chest supported row, the low ISO row to be more exact. Okay. On this exercise, I really focus on before I would always focus on just leading with the elbows, but you're supposed to lead with the elbows. So now I really focus on really retracting that scapula. Pull that scapula all the way together. Like I try to make that scapula touch. How do you guys feel about these masks? I hate wearing these masks, man. They're so annoying. I feel like after you do a working set, you can't even breathe having these things these things on. So the next exercise is the incline ISO press. I really like I really like this machine. And if you notice I'm I'm actually stopping like at the very bottom. I'm not I'm not I'm not stopping the weight from touching those uh, those metal bars. I'm just letting it stop at the bottom. So the only thing I'm focusing on is the concentric of the exercise. This is a good this is a really good machine. I like it. I've always looked at it, but I never use it. I use the one next to it. This entire workout, the only the only actual barbell that I use is on the bench and the rest is all machine. And then my, my next upper body workout is literally the opposite. So this is the high, um, what is the name of this again? I have to double check. It is a high lateral, high iso lateral pull down. That's the name of this one. This is another really good one too. I like this one. Nice contraction on this exercise. You get to really, really, really pull that scapula together. These machines, man, people sleep on these machines. Mostly when I come to the gym, people are using cables and stuff like that. But these machines, I've always liked plate-loaded machines 10 times more than cables. In the order, if I have to choose the order, it's barbells, dumbbells, plate-loaded machines, then cables. I don't dislike cables, but I just feel like the machines are superior to them. In terms of trying to do rows and compound movements, stuff like that. Then we have our lateral raises, okay? We're going three sets on this. 15 to 20 reps. One of the days I do these seated, like today, and the other day I do them standing. And then, I think we're done. Is this it? No, I have to do arms. You gotta do arms, or you're a simp. Okay, so we're doing the machine curl. I really like this one. When I'm going really high rep, like when I'm going 20 to 25 reps, which is, which is what I do here, this machine is excellent. And I'm gonna be real right now, like when I come all the way up, my elbows are super ashy. Like, so I'm gonna get this fucker some lotion. This is the side 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 angle of this. You can tell they're getting hard. I'm getting on like rep 22 right there, I think. And they're oh, rep 23 or 25. Okay, yeah, 23. Come on, don't be a sin. Finished. Boom. Yeah, this is a really nice machine. And I really like the dip press down. This right here is has literally replaced the dip for me. I still like dips. But the, the way this machine feels, it's perfect. It's like the synergy between this and that curl machine, it's perfect. It's like my favorite arm. It's like my favorite finisher for when I do my upper body workouts for arm days. I'm actually liking that more than dumbbells. And I've always liked dumbbells more. I'm gonna go get some Chipotle after this workout. And it's crazy because like you have to order your Chipotle these days. What is the world turning into? You should have known better, you have to like order everything now with everything going on in the world. So I'm like three weeks back into training. I'm like, man, my, my, my body feels so good, like so recovered just from taking so much time away from it. Not fully taking all my time away from the gym, but like not committing to a consistent training split for X amount of days, or not days, but X amount of weeks or months. So, three weeks in, and my body feels so good. So, like, any nagging tweaks or injuries I might have had in the past, they just, like, gone. Sometimes it's good to take some time away. Let the body just reset itself. And I wonder where you are. This is extra good because last time I had this was when I filmed it. So, like, you, know, you guess how long ago that was. I remember at one point I was getting a Chipotle burrito after every workout. And the taste just got so, like, monotonous. But when you get away from it for a while, it just tastes fresh again. It was so long since I had a Chipotle burrito, I forgot completely what, like, how I ordered it.
Chipotle is like the college, it's like the college kids default meal. I never usually get like corn and stuff in mine, but I just figured I'd try it and it's not bad, it's pretty good. You can actually have this if you're dieting, you just have to know what you're getting in it. Like me when I'm dieting, which I'm not, but I still get the same burrito I get when I'm dieting because it tastes the best to me. I don't get any sour cream, I don't get any cheese, I don't get any guac. Most of you guys are probably hating on me right now for that, but... The only thing I do get when I'm like trying to like bulk hard or when I used to try to bulk hard was like guac. But everything else, in terms of adding fat content to it, I really, I feel like, it's not that I didn't like the taste, I feel like it's overpowering. I also get like a, I get like half chicken in my burrito, half steak. I feel like it tastes best that way. Chicken from Chipotle, I feel like it has like not enough flavor, and steak is a little bit overpowering. So when you get both, I guess it's just it's balanced. It's good to see you guys again. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout. If you did, um, try it. Give it a shot. I'm gonna be posting my training a lot more because I'm actually training consistently again, and I'm enjoying it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.